Today we're putting ChatGPT 5.1 Codex and Gemini 3 Pro to the test and see which of these two models could make a Clash of Clan clone game. Let's go back to Cursor, I'll use the following prompt, just a very basic one that lets us place buildings and train troops. So let's send this. And here is Clash of Lands made by GPT 5.1 Codex. This does not look like Clash of Clans at all. Well, at least it followed the instruction and made the grid isometric. So that's good. And next to it, we have the resources. We have gold and elixir, which is interesting because we don't even have troops or buildings that require elixirs. I'm curious if Gemini is going to do the same thing. And we have controls. Click a tile to select it. Press build to place structures. Town hall. Okay. It also implemented mouse controls or camera controls, so this is great. I can zoom in just like this. There's also this log section where it displays all the actions that you make. I don't really see the point of that as a player, but as a developer, it's good for debugging. All right, so let's build barracks. Let's build gold mine. Let's build town hall. Let's build another town hall. And I want to build another town hall. You know what? I'm building another town hall. Since it's free, why not build another town? What about training? Can we train? Ah, oh, that's nice. We have queuing system as well. And we got a barbarian here. <laughs> I like that it says 50G. I thought it says 50 grams. But you know, this is not a Clash of Clan clone game if we're not going to make attacks. So let's go back to Cursor and ask GPT to add a game mechanic where we can attack other buildings. So now it's done, how to try it. Train a few barbarians or archers. Click attack enemy base. Watch status text. When finished, loot is added, troops are consumed, and the next target appears. All right, let's see. Attack enemy base. What is that? No, that's not, ah. Uh... I was expecting too much. I was hoping to open another base with buildings and we can just place the troops, but that's not what we got. Anyway, let's just go back to GPT and try and fix it. Finally, it says now we can deploy troops and watch them move and destroy structures. That's what we want. Okay, so we got seven of them, but here we just have five. Not a big deal. Now let's try an attack. Ooh, okay, now we have an enemy base here. We can deploy, we can deploy another here and here. You can see that it's moving towards the building that is closest to them. That's cool. Oh, it destroyed the building. Okay, that was good. Oh, now we're back to our base. That was good. That's what I wanted. And we got more golds. Let's go. Now let's try and make this game beautiful, shall we? Now my plan is to use their own chat to make the assets. So for example, I'm using GPT 5.1 Codex, right? So I'm going to use ChatGPT and for Gemini 3, I'll be using Nano Banana. So let's start with ChatGPT. So what we wanna have is a transparent image of buildings like Town Hall, but we should specify that its projection is isometric or use 2.5D or pre-rendered 3D images. Otherwise, it's going to make that weird angles. Okay, so we got our first building. This doesn't look like town hall but it looks like clan castle and that's okay we can just download this and here is our image we can just use that all right so we can just try it i'll build the town hall right here yeah we got a town hall let's go <laughs> but it should be using four tiles so let's fix that the town hall should take four tiles Okay, you know what? I just realized something. What I'm doing right now is clicking on a grid and then selecting a building. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be, I select a building and then place it on the grid. So we need to fix that. The mechanics of building is wrong. It's supposed to be like select a building and then hover around the grid to place the building. Yeah, just like this. There we go. We can place it here and we got the town hall. But it's just weird because it's not taking all of the grid. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, let's see. Nice, that is much better. Look at that. <laughs> we got our town hall. Let's place it here. Now it looks like it's taking all of the spaces here. There you go. That is perfect. We got a town hall. We can place it here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we just need to create more assets. And this is gonna look good. There we go. We got grass. 
now let's try to put a town hall. Let's put it there. Would you look at that? That looks better, right? And then if we add barracks... <laughs> it's just red. Okay, now it's time to create barracks. This is really good, so I'm gonna like it. But hold on, actually, really, this looks like a doghouse. Anyway, let's go back to the game. We can build a town hall. Nice. We can build barracks. Nice. And we can build gold mine. Nice. And that's pretty much it for this one. Let's try and move on to the next LM, and that's going to be Gemini 3 Pro. Of course, we're going to use Gemini 3 Pro, and we will use the same prompt. Bah. Here is the work of Gemini 3 Pro. We have build base, build barracks, train troop, and we have the grid right over here. At the bottom, we have arrows to move camera, click buttons, then grid to place. I'm using the scroll wheel. It's not working. I was expecting it to zoom in, but it's not working. I guess we can just move camera like this. Okay, let's click the build base. And then I'll just press somewhere here. Okay, we have a building right over here. Build barracks. Place it over here. I can place on top of a building. Okay, let's try to improve this. Add currency system like gold for purchasing buildings. Also, I want to have a good UI when I select a building. Oh, wow, it made a lot of file changes. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's choose base. I guess that's the town hall. And we can hover around the grid. We can see it's green, so that means we can place it there. Gemini did understood the assignment and it delivered. Let's build another one, but let's just see what would happen if we hover on top of the occupied grid. Oh, it's red, meaning we can't place it there. No shit, Sherlock! But I'm not gonna lie, GPT did a better job. Okay, next one. I want to train more troops. There is no UI to see how many troops I have trained. Okay, now we have troops. We can build a base. We can build barracks. And we can train troops. They're instantly there when you just click train troop. Which is very similar to the current Clash of Clans. Okay, let's move on to the next task and ask Gemini to build a an enemy base. We have an attack button right over here. Let's build everything first. Oh, you know what? Let me see what would happen if I don't have barracks. Oh, can't train troops because I don't have barracks. That's good. Okay, let's do it. Nice. I have six of them. Now let's click attack. Ooh, we even have the following health bars. But that's good. I guess we can place our troops here. What about here? What here? Ah, oh, nice. This is good. It's almost destroyed. Nice. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, that's good. That is really good. That was actually much better compared to what GPT created earlier. So yeah, I don't have any complaints on that. I think it's good. We can just move on to the next task and make this look much better. Let's start building the assets. So here on Gemini, I'll be using image or nano banana, and I will use the same prompt on a one by one aspect ratio, transparent image, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we have town hall here. Are we gonna be in trouble if we use this? Because there is this Clash of Clan logo here. Just a disclaimer, this is just for educational purpose. And this is what I don't like about Nano Banana. It doesn't create transparent images. Like, what the f is this, Gemini? What the so What I'm gonna do with this is use Photoshop. And we should have the town hall image here. And we can just tell Gemini 3 Pro to use that. All right, let's go back to the app. Okay, let's see. Town hall. Oh, wow. <laughs> what if I put it here? Oh, damn. <laughs> that is massive. <laughs> wow. Hold on, let me try it again. Because what I want to do is take a screenshot of this and tell Gemini that this is massive. There you go. It's much better. But just like GPT, Gemini 3 Pro is also having this offset issue. But at least now it notices that I can't place here. So yeah, I guess we just need to fix the offset and the size of the town hall. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let me try it once again. I'll place it here. And I'll place another one here. Finally. <laughs> Oh my god. So after more than 30 minutes of letting it debug itself, I just decided to just, you know what, I'll do it myself because it's not that difficult. All it needs to do is just change the value of the origin and that's it. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just gonna create the images. 
All right, so now I have all the assets that we need. We don't have the gold mine, so that's something. So let's go back to cursor and just mention the assets, I guess. Okay, here we go. This is the final test or challenge for Gemini 3 Pro. Let's see if it makes the game look much better. Well, I guess the answer is no. <laughs> this is trash. You know what? I'll give it one last chance, okay? And there we go. This one is actually much better. It's not really pleasing to look at, but it's not bad. Now if I add a town hall, there we go. We have a town hall. Okay, this is gonna be it for this one because I gave GPT one hour and I'm going to give Gemini 3 Pro one hour as well. So that'll be all for this video. I would say GPT 5.1 Codex won this challenge, especially with the images that it generated. With Gemini, it was just all mess. But let me know in the comments below what you think and let me know in the comments below which game should I make next. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.